Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at uh, Islands of Insight which is supposedly an epic shared world puzzle game where you play as a seeker on a peaceful journey of exploration and discovery. Now to be fair there's a lot of puzzles in this game. Um, it's kind of like a Talos principle give or take but uh, you have the whole stuff you can go and explore yourself. Which uh, I think is a good thing but uh, we're gonna have a look at the performance of this game. It is not yet released it's uh, scheduled to be released give or take about february 2024 if we can believe what says on steam and the requirements are actually quite modest the minimum G gpu required is gtx 970 and the recommended is a uh, gtx 1070 so you know it's a pretty pretty decent uh, requirement to be fair and apparently starting january 1st 2024 the steam client will only support windows 10 and later versions so we have that going for us okay so when we look at the settings obviously as you know we're going to be cranking stuff up here so we're going with the 4k native borderless because what's the what's the difference here really uh, resolution scale 100 uh, percent no capped fps so we're maxing it all out uh, no vertical sync and everything else is on epic outside of fsr fsr is off so you know let, let's be real here we don't want down sampling or ups, uh, up sampling at any sort so yeah let's start uh, a new game save go away and uh, see what we're gonna get msi afterburner running somewhere here and i wonder where we're gonna end up and what frames we're gonna be getting Okay, I will give substance to your form, but you must choose a vessel to house the spark within. Um, uh, who's this? Okay. I think we're, we're, we're good enough. Yeah, finalize. Perfect. Very good for our first try of character creation it looks weird same as this game so let's see what they have for it can we skip this i don't think uh we really want to read this and we can't skip it so that's good news and skippable intros my new favorite thing explore the islands and solve the mysteries within okay I probably didn't read, but I, I still don't know why we need to do that. Okay, we can move. Try out your new form. Follow the wandering echo. Okay, so what do we have here? Wow. <laughs> GP usage uh, 38% and we're sub 60, pulling 9 gigs of video memory and 12 gigs of RAM. Ah, that's a bit um, unusual, but I can see. Oh, wow, look at this zoom. Jesus. Wow. Okay. I mean, to be fair, the draw distance is actually not too bad, all things considered. Okay. Let's go for it. I mean, this actually looks pretty good. And we have a... Uh, something close to Skyrim level of... Looking around stuff. Okay. I'm not sure why my tarp on my shoulder disappears slightly when we turn, but oh well. You know, it, it is how it is. Alright, I think we'll be stuck with the first person for now. Let's interact. Left click a grey cell to toggle it dark. Wow, that was hard. I 
Oh, connect all life puzzles. Dark cells. Um, I hope this is a joke. Connect all light cells. Oh no, we need to connect uh, all dark ones. Okay. This this is the weirdest puzzle I've, I've I've actually seen. Why 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 are we doing this? Oh, because we needed to do the pillar. Solve the logic grid to unlock something somewhere. Okay, that's supposed to be a logic grid. So while you don't look far out in the distance, you actually get pretty decent frame rate, which I honestly I cannot blame because there's a lot of stuff going on here at any given time like, this actually looks pretty decent i hope they're not going to turn this into a battle royale game because a map like this would be really cool <laughs> but yeah um outside of that i think for puzzles you probably don't need 4k ultra in all honesty all things considered uh, but it is how it is you know do we really need to You gauge requirements. This volume unlocked by progressing campaign. Let me guess, this is the campaign. Oh, yes. Connect all dark again. Oh, now we need to connect all whites. There we go. Who's that? It's a juggernaut. I wonder if that's a player. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the idea of the game is actually pretty decent. Hidden archways. I mean, the idea that you have plenty of puzzles to spend your time puzzling. It's actually not bad at all, all things considered, you know. Solve 10 puzzles to earn a Mirabilis. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing that, really, you know. I don't think... I kind of see what they want to... What they want us to do here. And this feels like one of those uh, chilled out games, really, where you... Kind of need to take your time, chill out, and... Everything will be good. And you need to understand what they actually want from you here. Uh, but yeah. Anyhow, this is the game. Performance-wise, uh, yeah, could could be Johnny Giorgio. <laughs> but his friends call him Giorgio. Right. A 
Can we jump and fly? Oh, we can jump and respawn. Third lightly little one. Okay, fair enough. So it looks like a lot of people are actually trying to understand what, how and why, which is not surprising. But yeah, considering the performance of this game, I would say it's gonna be fine. You know, it's we haven't had such a puzzle game in a long time. The only one that really comes to my mind is kind of like Portal, give or take, to be fair. Which is a physics-based uh, puzzle. In here it's more about uh, logic and abstract logic. So it, you need to think. And you know, if you're into thinking, you probably will be having a pretty wonderful time. I do believe some of these puzzles will actually be time-based, because they usually are, just to keep you on your toes. And you won't be able to spend the whole day just mastering one of them. In regards, uh, are they repetitive? Probably not. But uh, then again, it is how it is. Let's uh, see if we can get to the juggernaut. Yes, we can. Hold to interact. Okay. So it is an actual player. Good to know. Good to know. And all of them are level 4. So they've been puzzling for a while. Ah, I see. So this is like an explanation what and how and why. Hidden Pentad, Sky Drop. So you do have some explanation of what you're supposed to be doing here. Well, not a bad thing. You know, I think this, this game definitely has some potential. And for a chilled out experience where you go and do your own thing in your own speed, I think is a very good idea. And visually, it's actually not too bad. Definitely don't, uh, don't crack this open on Epic everywhere. I would say mix and match. And you're going to be doing just fine. Rather than an intellectual game, so to say. But yeah, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Over now.